Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July BoxyCharm unboxing. I I know what you're thinking, Megan. You just did an unboxing like a week, two weeks ago. Yes, I did. I actually ordered my BoxyCharm towards the end of the month cycle. So yes, so the new cycle of BoxyCharm boxes have come out and it's come to my doorstep. We like unboxings over here. So if you don't like unboxings, don't watch me as simple as that okay so let's get into this all right so this month it comes with you know the usual schmusual boxy charm little pamphlet i don't know what you call these a pamphlet right and it says road tripping it's really cute it tells you everything that's in the box and what it retails for and on the back it has coupons for pharmacy and wonder Beauty 20% off both. I'm gonna use Wonder Charm 07 and Charm 20. So if you want to use that, use it. This is everything in the box. I've already kind of licked and touched everything. I haven't put anything on my eyes because I got back from work. This already came in. I was like, let's do this. Let's make a video today. Y'all want to see it? I like to see it. But for now, I am just showing you what what everything is okay all right so the first thing that i picked up is this luminous silk compact blusher from note cosmetics in the shade desert rose it retails for 11.99 it looks like this is very pretty a little bulky packaging but it's okay kind of sturdy if you're traveling or just very hard on your products like myself R.I.P. to all the products that has spilt and shattered on my floor. And so it opens up in the front like this. I like the packaging. It's really cute. It looks very luxurious. It's a very peachy, orangey color. And as you can tell, I am not a blush wearer. I don't enjoy blush. So this is not going to find joy in me. But I will be giving this away to somebody that actually wants this. And so I like it. Okay, yeah, it flips up like this. There's a little brush you can use for blush. It's actually pretty soft and a little mirror on the inside. Okay, so yeah, it looks like that. I'm just gonna... It's orange. <laughs> I, if I was to use this, I'd use this as an eyeshadow. But I don't need it. I can part with it. That's fine with me. It's cute. But it's not my shade. I like, if I was to wear blush, I like it very, almost mauve kind of on the brown side, kind of similar to my bronzer. That's the only way you will see me wear blush in this lifetime again. I tried it, been there, done that. It does not look cute on me. Alright, so the next product is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Looks like this. Let's see. Uh, one side has a brush on it and I guess the other side has the product in it I'm not sure if this is the pa how the packaging is supposed to be or what how am, <laughs> how am I how am I supposed to get this brush this brush right here mm hmm this little brush into this hole. I mean, this does not seem practical. Like, I don't like this packaging. I'm just gonna say it. I don't like this packaging. I wish it came in like a pomade because it's a cream product. I got a little bit on the brush. It's very soft. I'm not sure if it's gonna be dark enough for my eyebrows. But I will try this out. I'm not sure if I like that. I'll try it, but I'm very sure I'm not going to like it. And then that retailed for $26. $26 from Chella Root. I've never heard from that brand before, but $26? You've got to be kidding me. They could have made that packaging so much better. I am not going to dip a brow brush and be happy about that if the packaging is supposed to look like that okay moving on to wander beauty mascara it's a it's a tube mascara it's different it looks like a lipstick 
a lip gloss, a squeezy tube lip gloss. Looks like this. You could actually use this. I like mascaras. I love when I get mascara and boxes. It retails for $24 and apparently it's supposed to be award winning black glossy mascara. What is, a, what is a glossy mascara? Somebody tell me. Apparently it's supposed to volumize, lengthen, and strengthen conditions. We'll see about that because my eyelashes suck. So I will definitely be putting that to the test. Hopefully it does not smear everywhere. But, you know, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so the next product I have is the the Dr. Brandt's Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Puffing Gel. It looks like this, and I believe it is full size. It retails for $42, which is ridiculous. It's more than the cost of the total box, you know, itself. And I could actually use this. I've been really puffy in the mornings. I don't know why. But I do wake up around like 6 o'clock each morning, so this will definitely come in handy before, you know, I get beautified. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to try this. Hopefully it doesn't hurt and hopefully it doesn't sting or burn my eyes, my under eye sockets. So yeah, I'm actually really excited to try this. Alright, and so the last product in the box is a palette from Crown, and it's, it's a good size palette. I like the outside packaging, black, and then the gold in the middle. I have a feeling this is going to get really dusty really quick. These are some huge eyeshadows, like, huge compared to my finger. And this is what the palette looks like. These colors are not speaking to me. I don't know. I feel like I need to swatch them. I wanna, oh, that is soft. You know, oh. Oh. Let's just. I'm just gonna swatch these real quick. The shimmers, at least. I like shimmers. <laughs> They're nice. It smells a little funky. Not even gonna lie. It smells like factory. If factory has a smell. I'm being dramatic over here. And, like, excuse my ugly swatching process, but it is what it is. And this is what the shades look like very quick I like how pigmented this shade is it's very pigmented and creamy for the most part the mattes are a little bit on the drier side that's fine with me and the shimmers are very very soft I like that I'm gonna see how they hold up but yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this. I'll probably try this on my day off because I'm not trying to look crazy going to work, as you know. Okay, so that's all that I got in my boxy charm this month. I hope you liked it. I hope you like seeing me unbox it. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what your favorite products are, what you got in your boxy charm this month. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'm mostly on Twitter, but... I make the exception to, you know, stay updated on all my other social media. So if you want to connect with me, share memes, make sure to go follow me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.